Hello everyone and welcome to today's session on what is Microsoft Power Apps by IntelliPad. Power Apps at its core is a platform as a service. It allows you to create mobile apps that run on Android, iOS, Windows and with almost any internet browser. In this session, you will learn all about what is Microsoft Power Apps. So without further wait, let's start the session. But before we begin the session, Make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you'll never miss any update from us. Welcome to yet another video by IntelliPad. Today's video will be about what is Microsoft Power Apps. So without further ado, let's get to today's agenda. What is Power Apps? Power Platform Apps, Features of Power Apps, Working of Power Apps Features, Who Uses Power Apps, Power App Licensing and Pricing, Competitors and Alternatives, and finally, Future of Power Apps. Now let's go to our first topic, what is Power Apps? Microsoft Power Apps is one of the world's most complete low-code application development platforms. A low-code application is basically a software development approach that requires little to no coding in order to build applications and processes. It's an application that automates and improves processes that people use every day in a very easy way using the various Microsoft tools such as drag and drop functionalities and numerous other inbuilt templates. Power app makes use of logical expressions which are similar to the expressions that are found in Excel spreadsheet. In a nutshell, Power App is basically a personalized business application platform. It cannot be used for creating consumer applications and then selling it to third party. Power Apps is one among Microsoft's multiple power platforms. Which brings us to our next topic, Power Platform Apps. The other apps included in Microsoft's Power Platform are Power BI, Power Automate, and Power Virtual Agents. And collectively, Microsoft Microsoft Power Platform is a suite of applications that helps people who do not have in-depth knowledge in coding to develop business applications and solve their own business problems. Our next topic is Features of Power Apps. Let's take a quick view at what exactly Power Apps provides with its various features and how we can build actual applications using Microsoft Power Apps. Before that, Power Apps has four major components. The Canvas Apps, the Model Driven Apps, Portals, and finally, Microsoft Dataverse. Now, let's take a deeper look at what each of these functions are basically and then see how they function. Canvas Apps. Canvas Apps begin with your user experience, allowing you to create a highly customizable interface using the power of a blank canvas and connecting it to over 200 data sources, which are repositories for persistently storing and managing and collecting data. Canvas apps can be created for web, mobile, and tablet platforms. Canvas apps gives you the freedom to customize the user experience and interface to your liking allowing your imagination and business sense to guide the look and feel of your apps. Model-driven apps. Model-driven apps are built from the shape of your core business data and processes in the dataverse to model forms, views, and other components. Model-driven apps generate a great UI or user interface that is responsive across devices automatically. You can use the Dataverse's full power to quickly configure your forms, business rules, and process flows when creating a model-driven app. From the Power App site, you create a model-driven app, Portals. Portals allow you to create websites for external users that allow them to sign in with a variety of identities, create and view data in the Dataverse, and even browse content anonymously. We will elaborate on the topic of the portals more when we discuss its working. Dataverse Dataverse is a data platform included in the Power Apps that lets you store and model business data. The Dynamics 365 apps, such as the Dynamic 365 Sales, Customer Service, Field Service, Marketing, and Project Service Automation are built on this platform. Your data is already in the Dataverse if you're a Dynamic 365 customer. The Dataverse allows you to securely store and manage data in a set of standard and custom tables with the ability to add columns as needed. Which brings us to our next topic, Working of Power Apps Features. Working of Canvas Apps. 
Canvas apps are a cross between a PowerPoint presentation and an Excel spreadsheet. You may create this down to the last pixel. You may rearrange the pieces and change the colors. And you're actually creating an app by combining multiple screens and design elements known as components, as well as the formulae that control the behavior of what's going on. Although not precisely the same, the formulae used are quite similar to those used in Microsoft Excel. As a result, existing understanding of Microsoft Excel and its formulae may offer you a heads up while using Power Apps. This is the degree of technical knowledge necessary Necessary to effectively construct a Canvas app using Power Apps. Canvas app allows you to select your own data source, which is simply the place from where the data is being utilized comes from. You may select over 400 different connectors, which is something that allows user to link their accounts and utilize a set of pre-built actions and trigger to develop their apps and processes. That means you're creating a Canvas app and accessing data from any of these sources, such as corporate database systems, SharePoint lists, Dynamics 365, or even Microsoft Dataverse, which is available in our next model of feature, model-driven applications. Working of model-driven apps. This is one of the Microsoft Power Apps' less utilized capabilities. Because it allows you to create a data model, it is referred to as model-driven program. Data models, on the other hand, are visual representations of an enterprise's data items and the relationships between them. And similarly to how you begin with a blank canvas in the Canvas app, you begin with a data model in the model-driven apps. And because you're working with a relational data model, you'll need to consider what types of data are necessary for your app, how they link to one another and other factors such as what columns should be present in the tables and so on. In other sectors like e-commerce and education platforms, there might already be available alternatives, but for lesser tech-related fields like for example pet care or salons and so on, finding existing alternate database services to make use would be nearly impossible. And this is where model-driven apps comes into the picture and helps less technologically advanced businesses running people and this is where the model-driven apps comes into the picture and help less technologically advanced business running people with managing a data-driven app for their business. And yet again, this too is a low-code application that makes use of interactive visual aids like drag and drops, fix and clicks, which appeals and even makes it easier for people with minimum coding background to create their own applications, which basically means they just have to add certain forms and views within the app that would enhance the application they are working on, as well as allow them to see and interact with the data they are working with in a certain way. Working of portals. When you require customers to engage with your data, you utilize a portal. Customers can log in, submit a ticket, or check the process of an existing request, for example. Portals help you achieve a stylish, engaging look that suits your company's branding while providing a safe access to your data to internal and external users. Either anonymously or through commercial authentication, providers such as LinkedIn, Facebook, Microsoft, or corporate providers. A few other functionalities of Power Apps portals are connect your data, combine your data to add forms, charts, and dashboards to your portal, enhance customer service, done by allowing consumers to contact you through self-service portals, secure engagements. Data transfers over a portal are secure and can be regulated using trusted authentication mechanisms, such as username and password and one-time password. Words, OTPs. Access your portals from any device. You can access them from your smartphone, tablet, or desktop computer. And finally, it's easy to administer. Internal administrators may easily change materials and add new resources. And all this must be developed on Microsoft Dataverse, which brings us to the working of Microsoft Dataverse. The data model for model-driven programs is built in Microsoft Dataverse. Until November 2020, Dataverse was known as the common data service. You also can't use portal features or functionality on SharePoint or other external database systems. Now, let's move on to our next topic, which is who uses Power Apps. The Microsoft Power Apps application is targeted mainly towards three groups or customers, namely the app users, the admins, and developers. Let's elaborate. App users or employees. The app users use their browser or mobile devices to run apps 
that they produced or that someone else created and shared with them, which means that they are the users who use the apps that had already been created and they need not manually work on a task to get their work done. Instead, with Power Apps, to get their work done quickly, they can design and use a Canvas app or a model-driven app. After they've created an app, they must share it with their company or organization. Let us elaborate a little bit. Canvas apps provide you a great deal of control over the app's user experience. To design a Canvas app, an app developer can use templates or customize the app to their liking. A Canvas app, as its name implies, is a blank canvas on which you may design an app to meet the demands of your organization's users. And because the Canvas applications can be anything, there aren't a lot of instructions on how to utilize them once they've been developed. If you need assistance with a Canvas app, contact the app creator or a Power Apps administrator. Now let's discuss about how model-driven apps are of use to the normal app users. The unified interface is used in the model-driven apps to give a responsive and accessible design. The unified interface is something that utilizes responsive web design concepts to deliver the best possible viewing and and interaction experiences on any device, irrespective of screen size or orientation. It allows you to bring all of your rich experiences to whichever client you're using. The software can be used on a web browser or on a variety of mobile devices. Dashboards, forms, views, charts, and business processes are among the app's many components which work together to make it simple to use. Admins Administrators of Power Apps may utilize the Power Platform Admin Center to establish and manage environments, examine Dataverse analytics, and obtain real-time self-help advice and assistance. In more detail, admins can manage environments and settings for Power Apps, Power Automate and customer engagement apps through the Power Platform Admin Center, which is a unified portal. The Dynamics 365 Sales, the Dynamics 365 Customer Service, Dynamics 365 Field Service, etc. are a part of that unified portal. Now, let's discuss about the various features provided by the Power Platform Admin Center. Environments your environments can be viewed, created, managed, select an environment to learn about more and control its setting. Analytics helps to view the key metrics, which are the tactical initiatives you and your web team identify for your website. For Microsoft Power Platform apps in detail, help plus support creates a support ticket for the technical assistance or get a list of self-help solutions. Data integration integrates all the data into the Dataverse, which is something that allows the data to be integrated integrated from multiple sources into a single store. Data gateways set up data transfer between the data stored locally on a server or computer or other storage devices or cloud services. Data policies responsible for creating and managing data loss prevention policies. And finally, developers. Developers are app creators who can write code to extend the creation and customization of business apps. Developers can use code to create data and metadata, use Azure functions, and then plugins and workflow extensions to apply logic to everything that happens on the server side. Then they use JavaScript to apply to client-side logic, use virtual entities and webhooks, which are automated messages sent from apps when something happens related to the company. In order to integrate with external data and embed apps into your website, experience to create integrated solutions which are results from the problem-solving work process that integrates across two or more functions in a business or technology. Now, when we are talking about Power Apps developers, there are basically three types of developers. Initially, the Dataverse developer. They create applications and web pages that can access Dataverse business data, how to extend the platform's functionality with plugins and workflow, and how to connect your business data to external systems. Secondly, model-driven apps developer. They basically extend model-driven apps by using scripts, requirements given out by clients and web sources to add to basic logic. Entity forms, views, dashboards, charts, commands, and ribbons can all be customized. And finally, Canvas Apps Developers. As a Canvas Apps Developer, you can extend Canvas Apps and Power Apps as a developer, giving organizations and customers even more powerful solutions. Now let's go on to our next topic, which is Power App Licensing and Pricing. You have to be licensed in order to use the Power Apps. Licensing could be either the Office 365 license or the Power Apps Premium license, depending on the users need for Power Apps. These are the various plans offered by Power Apps. 
basic offers are $5 per user per app per month, $10 per active user per app per month, and $20 per user per month. Let's look at each of them. $5 per user per app per month allows to run an app or portal per user, allows to use an Azure subscription to pay per user based on the number of unique apps or portals a user runs each month. Finally, the $20 per user per month allows to run unlimited apps and portal per user for one month, which is common for all users. Now, there are some additional add-on licensing and pricing. Let's look at them. The $200 per month for 100 login sessions, the $100 per month for 100,000 page view sessions, finally the $500 per unit per month. These are the offers. Let's look at them in more detail. The $200 per month for 100 login session is called as the login capacity for portals. It enables external users to access custom portals and are only available for authenticated users. This one is called the page view capacity for portals. This add-on enables external users users to access custom portals. And finally, the $500 per unit per month is called as the AI Builder, which does nothing but infusing AI or artificial intelligence into your apps. The next topic is competitors and alternatives for Power Apps. Some of the below mentioned platforms are the main competitors for Microsoft Power Apps. They are the OutSystems, the APN, QuickBase, Salesforce Platform, Application Express or the Apex, the Zoho Creator, the Mendix Platform and finally the ServiceNow Now Platform. Now let's get on to our final topic, the future of Power Apps. Microsoft Power App delivers the power to get outcomes in a world where technology sector is continually developing. The ability to work where and when you choose is a significant feature of Power Apps. The pre-made templates simplify coding for the ordinary users. Thus, Power Apps is one of the app-making platforms that is definitely promised for the future of the digital world. Thank you for watching this video. Do like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more updates. Just a quick info guys, Intellipad provides Power BI online certification training in partnership with Microsoft, mentored by industry experts. The course link is given in the description below.